My name's Travis, I'm 23 years old, and I'm Airman First Class in the North Dakota Air National Guard. My name is Sarah, I'm 20 years old. I grew up in a small town outside of Minot Air Force Base after my dad retired, and I take a lot of pride in that. My town had 200 people in it. When I joined the North Dakota Air National Guard, this is something that I wanted to do since I was a little kid. I decided that I wanted to fulfill my career a little bit more and made me realize that I made that right decision and wish I could have done it earlier. The Air Guard allows me to, allows me the flexibility to take care of my daughter. My daughter's name is Kira. She is five months old. She's really fun. She is really chubby. Um, she makes a lot of noises, a lot of random squeals. I would give up everything just for her. She's awesome. When I came in, I had the option of personnel or security forces, and um, I wanted something a little bit more physically challenging for myself. I've always been kind of one of those people who, you know, even if I can't do it, I'm gonna try it anyway. I wanted to be a little bit more hardcore. I wanted to be able to get into the action. I wanted to be able to, you know, be able to fire these big weapons. You know, I may be like a buck 10, but I mean, I wanted to be able to handle the big, the big boy weapons. And I wanted to, you know, be gung ho and, you know, do all the bad boy kind of stuff. I feel that the uh, responsibility that the uh, North Dakota Air National Guard has, has given me to uh, protect nuclear missiles is a great responsibility. And this is where I grew up. This is the country that I support, and knowing that I can protect America's top resources and keep my surroundings safe is a great feeling. We have a very diverse type of people in the Air National Guard. We have, you know, people that came from the cities. We have people that came from small towns like I did. We have people with military backgrounds, people without military backgrounds. You know, people that joined when they were 17 who probably their whole life never had any dream of going, going Air National Guard but wanted some money for school, and which is, which is perfectly fine because that's one of the main reasons why I joined. One of the misconceptions of joining the military is that you have to be like Airman Brown. You know, I have nothing against Airman Brown, but you don't have to be six foot seven and so many pounds to do this job and to do it well. You know, you just have to have the motivation and the strength to do it. They just want to make sure that the very best people are out there protecting their nuclear assets.